Hey and welcome. This is another video response to the dual in Excel that Mr. Excel and Excel is fun are having. In this case, we actually have this table here, this data set, which is just two columns. Uh, both of them are numeric. And the question here is, what if I want to bring the bring in the first value in column A, which is this one? This is column A. When the first value in column B is greater than a fixed value, they say 100. So let's say that I actually go find 100 here, which is this is the one, the first one that is greater than 100, and I want to return the one on the left, which is column A, this one. So what I did is that I actually used Power Pivot, Power Query, and a simple simple function in DAX, which is called local value to actually come up with the solution. So what we have here is that I actually have, uh, let's say that 100, and there we have it. We get the result. What if it's actually greater than 60? Then we actually have this one, 41. Greater than 65, it's still this one. Uh, greater than 150, then we're gonna get this one. So first, we have to actually create this slicer. In order to create this slicer, we need to create a new table. I call this the helper table, which is just these values that we can actually use for to store this fixed value. And once we actually create this, we can go ahead and add that to the data model. I already did that part. And now we come back to this primary table or original table. And we're going to transform that table because we're going to add a new column. First, we go here to Power Query, the Power Query ribbon. And on top of this table, we're going to click From Table. This is going to launch a new window, which is going to be the Power Query Query Editor. And in here, what we have to do is that we need to insert an index column. So we create this index column and it's going to be from zero all the way down to the very last record that we have. And we do this because in Excel we actually have columns and rows, but in Power Pivot we only have columns. So we really don't know which one comes first because we don't have a first row, second row. So we need to define that as a new column. And that's what we actually did here. The next step is just to load that to the data model, clicking here, this checkbox, and then apply and close. That's going to load this query, and this new table, to Power Pivot. I'm going to launch Power Pivot here so you can actually see both tables. And we're going to see table one, this one with the new column, and the table two, which is this one. Uh, there's no relationship between those two, and the next step is just to create the pivot table that you have here. Add this slicer from this column here, from this disconnected table that we have here, and we use a new calculated field or a measure. So what I did here is that, let's see if we can actually get all the way here. Cool. So we have here, and we have lookup value which is similar to vlookup it's pretty similar to vlookup or to index and match and what we're doing is that the first parameter is that we need to find out what do you want to be the result of this lookup so res the result column name should be the column a the values in column a because that's what you actually want to bring in the columns in the values in column a then we actually use a search column, which is the one we're going to be doing the lookup. And that's going to be the index. It's not going to be the column B. It's going to be the index, which is the new one that we just created, thanks to Power Query. And in that column, the index, we're going to be searching for a value. Uh, this search value is set up with a min x. I actually use min x here. And min x, well, min, min x is actually doing is that first we needed a table. I actually filter that table so that this table, table one, only have the records on column B that are greater than 
the values that we have chosen the value that we chosen we have chosen from this slicer so it's gonna be table one values in column B are greater than 150 and that's the filter table and after that table has been filtered we're gonna be doing min we're gonna get the min of the index column and that's the value that it returns thanks to the min x and that's the values that are going to be used in this lookup so that we can actually get the values in column A and that's what it's actually doing. Now just to give you an example and just to test this I'm going to add uh, 200 here let's say that I'm going to be using 200 and I'm going to be changing this one from 170 to 199 I'm going to go to manage I'm going to refresh all. Let's say I'm going to refresh this one here. And that's going to refresh the Power Query query from the table one. And clicking here is going to refresh the actual table two. I can click here, 199, and that's how we actually get 139. And that is it, guys. Thank you.